Well, we're just away from uh, uh, a roundtable talk which involved the uh, party leaders. It was a fairly short uh, meeting. We've also done bilaterals today uh, as well with some of the parties. Uh, what has been decided is that bilaterals will continue on until uh, Thursday. We will come back and review that. We understand both uh, Charlie Flanagan and uh, James Brokenshire will be here on Thursday, so we will uh, basically review the situation at that stage. But let me say very, very clearly, whatever progress we were able to make in these talks, the fact that the British Prime Minister uh, is either indifferent to what happens here or actually um, moved deliberately in terms of what happened here, we are now left with uh, uh, um, a difficulty in trying to move forward at all. Uh, it, people will understand that it's uh, how difficult it would be to come to uh, uh, solid conclusions in the middle of, a, of an election. Uh, but the British Prime Minister didn't seem to worry about that. I, 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 frankly, I think the only pretense that was here was the British government, uh, because clearly they were planning to go for an election and they were continuing on with the talks as we were doing them. We were in there very genuinely and will continue to be in there genuinely trying to get something uh, sorted out. Uh, that the British Prime Minister decided to call an election and showed absolute disdain or, or ignorance or uh, she couldn't care less what's happening in the North, frankly. Um, we care what happens and we will continue uh, to do our best. But she is uh, in, in calling an election for her own political uh, reasons. I mean, we're anti-Brexit and we'll be running this election on that basis um, and on a progressive alliance in terms of that. Uh, we're going into the election.